Hey guys, so I'm going to be showing you real quick how I was able to get the mount from the Frosty Jr. boss so quickly and strategies for beating him very well. So, a lot of people spend time in different areas of the map, but the best place to hang out is going to be right here in this wooden area because you can pretty much avoid all the attacks. Do not go on the door or on the wall or anywhere else because you will get banned for it. It's technically against the rules to go somewhere where you're not supposed to be. In addition, when he uses his ice attacks and whatnot, you want to stand right in the center of this little wooden hut because chances are you're going to get flung right up into the ceiling and fall back down. You probably won't take as much damage if you hung out elsewhere because you're not going to get drowned and stuck anywhere. Also, if you do end up taking damage and someone throws an acorn and heals you, say thank you. Always say thank you. I don't care if you have full health already, you say thank you. Alright, good, good, good. So the only attacks you really need to watch out for are these icicle attacks and the throwing hammer. Because the hammer will actually destroy the wooden structure and the icicle attacks can hit you through the wooden structure and fling you pretty far. If you do your part and hang out near the ammo station, relatively near the middle of the structure, you're not going to get caught by any ice tornadoes or anything else, so you'll pretty much be set. Um, that's pretty much all there is to it, to the actual fighting of the boss. You don't really have to do anything else. If you're not sure what weapons to bring to the boss battle, you should really bring any weapon that is good for long range and can deal a lot of damage really quickly. You don't want to bring something like the Barret that has a lot of damage like per shot, you want damage per second. So the M249, the Stair M, uh, AK, FAMAS, anything that does a lot of damage. Also, you want to look out for anybody who suddenly dies and drops a jetpack if you're not able to buy a jetpack and bring it. You want to use this jetpack as soon as you possibly can and fly up to the top of the area as soon as the gate opens. Right when the gate opens, you want to be hovering in the air so that way you can easily see the whole area. You want to be waiting right above the gate, right when the door opens. Don't even bother going for the key and just drop down right where you see the chest and grab it. As you can see here, it can literally spawn anywhere inside the area. It can even spawn way up high. So be on the lookout and just look for anything neon blue and rush to it instantly. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my video and I'll see you all next time. Peace.